What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have an in-depth comparison between the all-new Super Enzo and the Ripcord Velocity. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, make sure you head on over to coolwick.com and use my promo code MOTIVELOO10 and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. Let me know down below in the comments if you ever had the Ripcord Velocity or if you're considering pre-ordering the Super Enzo when it releases on September 1st. So the layouts on the Enzo and the Velocity are very, very similar. The Supra is laid out uh, 45 by four and a half by 30, and the Velocity is drilled 60 by four by 30. So very similar layouts, not exactly the same, but I think close enough. Both of these balls are designed to be very long and create a lot of shape on the lanes. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see how they differ on the lanes. I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes here so that we can see this in-depth comparison. So this is gonna be the first shot here reviewing the all new Super Enzo, or not reviewing, comparing the all new Super Enzo to the Ripcord Velocity. Now, typically we are on a fresh typical house shot, but for this video, we're not on a fresh typical house shot. I just got done reviewing the Enzo. And this is gonna be the situations when I would go to the Enzo, when I would go to the Velocity, once the lanes have been transitioned a little bit. On the fresh, I mean, if we're being honest, I would never throw an Enzo. I would never throw a Ripcord Velocity for me. So this is the situation exactly when I would throw the Enzo, when I would throw the Velocity. So we're gonna start, you know, around 25-ish. Just create a little angle here through the front and then we'll move left if we have to or right if we have to. Yeah, see, Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> the Enzo is really, really good. See, on the fresh, that would scream off the, off the corner and big, my big four, or I might just miss it all together. So this is the exact situation when I would be throwing these balls. So this is gonna be a really good comparison for these two balls. So I'm just gonna stay in that zone, really to show you guys a couple really good shots with this Enzo. And then the first shot with the velocity will be from that same spot. All right, here we go. I, uh, God, I'm such a fan of this ball right now. So that was, a, that was a pretty bad shot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I missed left a little bit. So this next shot here with the Enzo before I get into the velocity, make sure I throw you guys, show you guys another really good shot because that was a little, really though, if we're being honest, you could even skip over that second shot and just only look at that first one because that first one was as good as it's gonna get. I, I would venture to say I won't throw a better shot with the Enzo than I did that first one. Maybe with, uh, with any of those, but that was, a, that was a pretty good one. So let's see if this one can be a little bit better, if not at least the same. Yeah, I mean, I hate, I don't want to be that staffer who's like, oh, that ball reads the mid lanes and, and, and responds to the friction or anything like that. I'm not going to say anything like that. But the way this ball gets through the fronts and interacts with the pins, I am a really, really big fan of. So now we're going to go to the velocity from that same spot. So this is going to be the first shot here with the ribcord velocity comparing it to the Enzo, the Super Enzo. Now it should be an interesting comparison because this Enzo is strong from that part of the lane but the, the velocity is actually higher on the ball chart. Maybe it's because it's, it's a stronger formula, that Infusion MVP Pro, compared to just Infusion Hybrid. So it, it'll be interesting because, man, I, I really like this Enzo. And me and the Supra have been getting, or not the Supra, the uh, Velocity, we've been getting along just nicely since we first got it. So this first shot here will be from the same spot. And then if I have to move right or left, I will. Okay, so I'm a little surprised that they were, they were pretty similar on the lane and through the pins, but what I am seeing is that the Super Enzo may be a little bit earlier and it may be a little bit more angular because that rib cord kind of just glided through the fronts. So I'll throw another shot from there, same spot. Hopefully I can execute another really good shot. All right, see if I can execute another really good shot i mean that's the key to bowling guys just execute if you can execute a good shot it doesn't matter what your reverie is it doesn't matter 
how, you know, what your pap is. It doesn't matter what your ball roll looks like. If you can execute and repeat, you're gonna be just fine. Oh, a little positivity on this, uh, on this day here. All right, same shot here. Okay, so I stuck, I stuck. It's very humid, you can see you guys that I'm sweating. Very humid, I stuck, I missed right, missed it at the bottom. And it doesn't come around the corner quite as hard as the Supra does. The Enzo from there, I think that exact same shot would have been high flush instead of light because it responds so much, violent, so much more violently to the friction than the velocity does. So we'll throw one more shot from that same spot and then we'll get into the versatility test. Guys, literally all I do is talk about versatility because I have 50 bowling balls at home. The only way that any of these balls stays in my bag for the long term is if it's versatile or in the Supra's case, if it's really, really, really good at that one thing which is getting left and bending it. So again, it's the most important thing, versatile, versatile. Maybe I should make a t-shirt that says versatility. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was pretty terrible. That was probably the worst shot I've thrown in at least two or three videos. But it's okay, it's part of the gig. It's what happens. Now we're gonna get into the versatility test. For those of you who don't know, we're gonna throw three shots from three different zones. Zone one will be 15, then 25, then 35. So we can really see which one of these is more versatile. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these two you think will be more versatile. Personally, I think the Velocity will be more versatile, but I prefer the Enzo. I'm calling it right now. So this is gonna be zone one with the Super Enzo. And guys, just like in the original review of this ball, zone one is not gonna look good. Too much, art, too much differential. This ball responds too hard to the friction. I predict that it's either gonna go super high, like hit the head pin in the face and leave a big split, or even go runaway Brooklyn. So, and that's okay because I'm never gonna throw this ball from zone one. But we're doing this for the versatility test. Tap into my inner Norm Duke here. I gotta say, I, I gotta start saying maybe Eugene McCune. He, he's a little you know, hard and straight from the back in the day. I mean, do you know your equipment or do you not know your equipment? It's exactly what it is. That was a pretty good shot. I fell off, sure, whatever, but it was a pretty good shot and it went Brooklyn. That ball had no chance. So I suspect that the velocity is gonna dominate from zone one and maybe even zone two if we're being honest. All right, zone one with the velocity. I mean, pretty much anything is gonna make it win as long as I don't go Brooklyn, which I don't think it will. This ball's a little too clean for me to go Brooklyn. But we're gonna see here in a second. Okay, <laughs> oh my God. That was a carbon copy. I literally went Brooklyn and what is that? Uh, a, a six pinned, two shots in a row. That's, that's pretty freaking hilarious. So maybe it's a tie for the versatility test from zone one. Oh my God, I can't stop laughing. So now we're gonna go to zone two and we're gonna start with the Super Enzo. Man, I, the giggles got me a little bit too hard uh, going back to back a uh, six pin Brooklyn with those balls. So now we're gonna get into zone two with the Super Enzo. And I suspect that this one will be a little, it'll be close, but I think until we get into zone three is when this ball's really, really gonna shine. All right, just trying to create a little bit of shape. Oh, standing in the wrong spot, there we go. Create a little bit of shape and see what happens here. All right, I honestly didn't think that it was gonna go through the pins that good. So I think zone two might even have to go to the Supra, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what the velocity looks like from there, and then we'll get into zone three. So I really, I really, really don't mean to overhype the Enzo because in all, in all actuality, I like this velocity quite a bit. But with the Supra, I'm getting a lot of shades of Primal Rage Remix. And for those of you guys who know me on a personal level, like Jameson knows, my buddy Jameson, he knows. Primal Rage Remix was, was really good. And I'm getting shades of Primal Rage Remix. This one's way stronger. The Supra's way stronger. So now we're gonna get into the velocity from zone two and see how it's gonna look. It 
So it was, it was a pretty good shot. I stuck at the line, like I said, it's super, super humid. But zone two, I think, I mean, I four pinned, which is not bad ball reaction. I, I always stress that. If you four pin, it's not a bad ball reaction. So I'll let you guys decide on zone two. Now we're gonna get into zone three, which is 35. All right, last shot here with the Super Enzo, zone three from 35. You guys know historically, this has been my, my kind of weak part of my game, but we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make it a strength of mine. Just gotta throw this ball with confidence. And I know, I know 100% that if I throw a good shot, this will strike. Okay, okay. Off my hand, I didn't really love it. I kind of spun it a little bit, or spun it compared to what it was before. But I kind of spun it a little bit and the ball glided through the front, went through the pins, even went a little high. So that's a good thing. The further left I get with this ball, the better it looks. We're gonna see how the velocity stacks up to the Super Enzo. So this is gonna be the last shot here of the video. And guys, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's some major, major changes. They're gonna be coming very soon, very soon. And I'm excited for them, and I hope you guys will be too when I announce everything. So now this is gonna be zone three here with the ripcord velocity. Just trying to execute another really good shot and see. So I can already, I can, in my head, I can already see the comments. You missed right. It wasn't the exact same shot. The reality is the Supra would have won zone three anyway, even if they were both ex the exact same shot. But I do want to say that I think the velocity overall will win the versatility test. So it's not one of those things where the new ball is always going to win or anything like that. I wholeheartedly believe that the velocity wins the versatility test, but the Supra is better at that one thing, if that makes sense. Like the, Velo the Enzo is really good at getting left and bending it. It's, that's what it does. So until next time. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my in-depth comparison between the Super Enzo and the Ripcore Velocity. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.